The boy said, can you give me some money? Soon the stranger discovers what he spent it on. This event took place in United States, more specifically in Baltimore, Maryland. This incident will undoubtedly provoke in you a great sadness and a great reflection, perhaps. Surely after watching this story, you'll do what you think is best. Don't know what I'm saying? Well, I cordially invite you to stay with me until the end of this video, and you'll see why. John had gone out to buy some things at the nearest store. It was a hot summer day and mostly his days off. In fact, in the afternoon, he was going out with his friends to a meeting to distract himself. When he finished buying his groceries, he went out to his car. However, before getting behind the wheel to return home, he noticed out of the corner of his eye a little boy, sad and thoughtful. Then, for some reason, John wanted to ask the boy if he was okay, so he approached him. Hello, young man, said John. Why are you sad? Sir, what's wrong is I need money. Ah, money. What's your name? My name is Jefferson. Jefferson, uh, you shouldn't be alone around here. Where are your parents? The boy just went silent that moment. Sir, could you give me a few dollars? John said, okay, I'll give it to you. I don't care what you do with it, but use it for good, okay? Okay, sir, said Jefferson. So John gave him $10 and proceeded to go to his car again. And as he got behind the wheel, he saw what the boy was doing through the windshield. He had gone into a flower store and then came out with a bouquet of white roses. John looked at his face. The boy was happy, so John got out of his car again and said, Hey kid, where are you going? I'll give you a ride. Thank you, sir, you're very kind. The boy got into the car and on the way John asked, Where are we going, buddy? Sir, go behind the bridge a few blocks away and drop me off there, please. Well, all right, here we go. When they arrived, John noticed that behind the bridge there was only a cemetery. That amazed him, so he wanted to follow Jefferson to know where he was really going. The boy walked and suddenly came to a stop at a grave. He put down the bouquet of flowers he'd brought and there said something that completely devastated John. John overheard the boy saying, Mom, take these white roses. Forgive me for not coming sooner. I had no money. I miss you a lot, Mom. I'd love to see you again. Soon, John noticed the little boy crying. The man could finally understand it, so he approached the child and said, Now you have to be strong, Jefferson. That's life. Yeah, but she didn't deserve this. Sir, do you think she still cares for me? John replied, of course she does. She's with you at all times. She's in your heart and as long as you have her there, she will always remain with you. Don't cry anymore. Thank you, sir, said the child, giving a smile. John learned that the child's mother had lost her life to an illness. Unfortunately, due to a lack of money, she was unable to recover. The man then told Jefferson that if he liked, he could take him home, and the boy nodded. When they arrived, John noticed that he lived in a very humble house. In fact, it was just a mobile home. You could tell he didn't have means or resources and little Jefferson only lived with his grandfather. That day, which was supposed to be a day of friends and beers, became a different one for John. Finally, he said goodbye to the boy, took his car and drove to the flower store again. There, he bought the biggest bouquet of roses available. Then he drove to a place he hadn't visited for many weeks, and when he arrived, he knocked on the door and heard someone's footsteps. When the door opened, a surprised older woman came in. John said, Mom, take this, it's for you. I want you to know that I love you and I want you to forgive me for not coming sooner. John gave his mom a big hug and spent the rest of the day with her. It turned out that the man hadn't visited her in a long time. He only occasionally called her. He wanted to give her the flowers while she was still alive because he couldn't give the same sentiment if she passed away. Some time later, this man began to visit his mother on a regular basis, and also Jefferson. Every week, he gives him a bit of food and some money so they're a little better off than before. Certainly a moving story, and maybe now you understand what I told you in the beginning. If your mother is still alive, do what you think is best. I hope this video has really helped you. If so, feel free to give a thumbs up, comment, and share. Thank you very much for watching. By the way, I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to receive the notifications. See you next time.